Hello, welcome to my office. This is where I do most of my work. I do, I'm a rideshare driver. And I saw an article about a woman who made a rideshare service for women only because it would make them feel safe. And I thought about it and I know that there are a lot of men out there who have had very bad experiences with women and I wanted to make a rideshare service for them. Now this would not just be for them, it would also be for men who just want to relax and not have to censor themselves. Because I know there's times when I've had to just watch what I said because I didn't know how the other person would react or how you know mixed company might take it and I'd like to provide a service where they won't have to worry about that I can take them to and from their their destinations and they can speak freely they can vent about the problems that they've had that day they can they can vent about you know what they see wrong with the world and it doesn't have to be censored now if all goes well this is only part one of what I'd like to do um, again I I will admit that I got this idea from reading an article about a woman who has her own rideshare service only for women that's gonna be the next step because just like how there are men who are victims of you know abuse and rape and sexual assault we all know there are women that are that way and what I'd like to do is make a service for both you know men and women and yes I am going to be including trans men and trans women in this because they are men and women in my eyes and I'm gonna try my best to help out and make them feel a little bit safer in life I want to work with shelters and see about setting up contracts to safely shuttle you know, the men and women, I don't want to call them victims even if you know they have been victimized, to and from these places because some of them might not want their vehicles being seen in these areas. So if you would do me a favor and please you know, help fund this, um, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.